Hey, what's going on guys? John Shea here from the No Shame Income blog. And today I'm gonna to be talking about some email marketing examples. We're basically gonna be doing a teardown of some emails that I've been receiving on kind of one of my secondary emails that I use for just getting marketers emails. And I wanna kind of go in live. We're gonna basically do a screen share and I'm gonna go through and we're gonna talk about some of the emails that I've been receiving and do some comparisons, talk about some of the content they're using, um, what ultimately appeals to me, what maybe might work in terms of selling and building relationships. And I'm also gonna be doing some kind of knocking down on people, people that are actually you know, doing email marketing possibly the wrong way or in a way that's ultimately gonna turn people off. So before we dive in, if you guys are brand new here on the channel, be sure to throw me a thumbs up on the video. And if you actually go back and leave me a comment on the video, I will actually go back and respond to your comment. As well as if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. I release new videos each and every week. So let's dive into today's video. All right guys, so we're over on my desktop and basically what I'm gonna be doing in this particular video is we're gonna really do kind of a, an off the cuff, me going through a whole bunch of emails from various marketers that I've signed up on their email list and we'll kind of be analyzing a couple of their emails, um, talking about maybe things that I like, things that I don't like. Um, we're not gonna go super, super deep, but there's a few people who I know who they are, some people I don't know them as well. And to give you a little bit of context, um, and I really, um, it's whether whether or not you decide to do this. For many people, you know, when I first got started in the online marketing game, I was using my main email and signing up for all these different things, you know, whether or not it was free trainings or eBooks or um, all kinds of different things, webinars. Um, it was so much stuff that it was very overwhelming and all these people had different offers and things that were going on. I got so excited about everything. So as of recently, I unsubscribe from literally everybody. I think there's maybe like two marketers that I have email subscriptions to. One of them is one of my best friends that I talk with on a regular basis. And another one is like a guy that I followed for six years and he emails maybe like once every month or two. So um, with that being said, I created another email address that I've had for a long time. And every time I sign up to anything through Facebook ads, through anything, I use this email because I don't want to get blasted with all their promotions. Now, what I've noticed over the years is that some people um, are really good at the way they do their emails, some people aren't so great, and I wanna talk a little bit about that and kinda of go through. So, we're just gonna pick a few random people and um, kinda of go through, but you can see in this inbox, I mean, I literally have, there's 1,800 emails in here, um, which over fi about 1,500 of them I have not opened. So, um, we'll probably do about five minutes of this, five, 10 minutes, go through and um, kinda of see what's in here. So, let's just pick a few random people. So we'll start with Dan Locke. Um, Dan is actually someone that sells very high ticket programs. He has a great YouTube channel, uh, very well known in the space. And I haven't really dived into some of his emails, but he's very bold. Like you can see, um, he swears, like he, he says stuff like that's bullshit right in the email. Um, I like the way the email is formatted in the sense of it's easy to read. Everything's kind of broken up. Um, he's really giving a lot of, you know, advice in many of the emails I've seen. So. You know, have you noticed things are just getting more expensive? It's not your imagination. So he's like starting things out with something that's gonna pique your curiosity and then he's now kind of breaking it down, talking about his own experience and you know, maybe why he doesn't believe in something, you know, about how financial advisors tell you to save money and that that's BS. So overall, I really like his stuff. Um, fairly straightforward email, easy enough to um, whitelist the emails, you know, add him to, um, a whitelist so that way you get the emails, all that good stuff. So let's take a look at a couple others. Um, let's do Nathan Lucas. Nathan actually is someone that I also know who he is. He's someone that has built um, an online business mostly through his YouTube channel. And I know that he promotes what's considered more of like a um, affiliate marketing offer. From what I've seen, many of his emails are very short. So we'll actually do, as I'm going through this, I'll just type in and we can kind of see you know, he started out with an ebook and then he kind of talks about um, using a little bit of clickbaity stuff, how I made X amount a day. Um, I have something special to tell you. He's got some scarcity stuff going on. So all of this very happening pretty quickly, but overall um, I've found his emails, you know, to be fairly useful kind of starting out. Uh, if we go back, let's see, you know, here's one where he's showing how much money he made in an X amount of day. Here's the system to go to get access to it. So he's kind of breaking down some of this stuff. These are a little bit shorter. 
Um, generally, I find the shorter the better because some people don't have as much time to necessarily read. Creating an online business that makes 10K is definitely possible. So, I mean, you know, some of this stuff, I think to a lot of people, it can turn them off because it's hard to sometimes believe this when you're just starting out. Let's take a look at a few other people. Um, here's someone that um, I've known who he is for a long time, Ryan Levesque. And he actually has um, a book called The Ask Method and a program that's very similar. So his entire business is based around this whole ask method thing, which in a nutshell is basically um, doing surveys and asking people questions. So overall, I found that his emails being honest are very overwhelming. Um, he's constantly like pitching something. So we'll do a search for him. If I do Ryan Lebeck, um, you can see that he's got a lot of clickbaity stuff, a lot of constantly closing, constantly opening. Um, I mean, if we just look at some of these emails, your epic Christmas gift, last day to save, final chance, how I went to make $25,000 a month, starting now, we have this next thing, starting now, watch this now. Um, I'm gonna guess, to be honest, I don't think he writes his own emails. Um, whoever's doing it, I think they're pushing more of the game of ultimately just getting more and more people on their list and um, you know pushing them with all this stuff. And I honestly, he, he's probably, um, Despite, you know, I've seen one of his programs and I've actually um, checked out some of his content. I know a couple guys that are, you know, kind of uh, talked positive things about him. But honestly, his emails, not not really the way that I would do it. He's constantly like pitching something, you know, hey, this is going to fill up in less than 48 hours. And then literally a week later, final chance to save on this, this thing. And, you know, last chance to save. And it's just constant pitching. Like, I, I don't really find that a lot of his stuff has been extremely valuable in the sense of the email side of things. Um, you know, he's got some stuff in here that's very scarce, like this is an email that's just talking about something, but there's no um, link to a video or anything of real substance. And um, yeah, I just, I don't know, not a huge fan of his stuff in terms of email. Let's take a look at a few other people. Um, this guy, Simon Reynolds, I know that he was running a lot of ads on Facebook, um, had a ton of stuff around building an agency. so. If we take a look at his emails, I imagine most of them will reflect around that particular subject. So uh, he's got a lot of stuff. Um, seems like some stuff where it's like kind of calling out more informational, but then he's got a lot of like the training, the training, it's live, this webinar, it's so important, last chance, you know, and then there's again, some value, value, value. So it looks like he's doing a little bit better job of say someone like Ryan, who's really pushing it. But um, you know, as you go through and look at some of what these guys are doing, there's a lot of um, kind of coercion, you know, like really pushing people to get into something. So as you go through these, um, you know, he's saying, hey, I did a training, here's some of what I covered. And then he's got a signature. I think that's a good addition to something you should be doing. There's a video here, it looks like with an image, that's a cool kind of perk. A lot of people aren't doing some of that stuff. Um, here's another one, again, a video, there's a photo of him. Let's see what else, live training today. So he's using a lot of photos, imagery, things like that, kind of talking about his own business, last chance. So I do like some of the imagery. It really creates a little bit more of a personal branding. Um, but overall, you know, I, I don't think he's doing too bad of a job. I like that there's images, the bolding, the way he's formatting. You know, some of this stuff is really obviously going to be pretty crucial. Um, let's take a look at one last person and then we'll uh, kind of wrap it up. So I wanted to give you guys kind of an example of, you know, really what to expect with some of these guys. Let's do um, this guy, Nick. Aracapellus. I don't know who he is. So this is someone I don't know anything about him. Um, text very small, hard, a little bit harder to read. Um, things are scrunched together. That can make it a little bit easier to consume. Looks like he's promoting something in the affiliate marketing um, space. Let's take a look and see what we do. Search for him. Hasn't really done a lot of emails. I don't think I've been on this one long. So within a month span, a little under a month, hasn't sent too many emails. Um, I'm not really big on some of these like emails that say things like, do you hate me? Or seriously, what's the deal? Or I'm a little concerned, everything okay? It's very like, I don't know, it's just a really bad way of trying to get someone to open an email. And um, yeah, I don't know, like some of these, like this is very long drawn out, w way too many links, like, you know, there's no real specific call to action. Um, this is a little bit tougher to read. I'm personally a fan of, I guess, a couple things. I like images in the emails. I like having things broken down in a way that it's easily structured so it's easy enough to read. Um, having the fonts be a little bit bigger. Um, I'll give you an example. So here's one that I just did. So I use a um, little bit bigger fonts, 
a higher font level and I like to do images. So this is very, very short and sweet, just three little tiny paragraphs. I've got another video out today about how to sell digital marketing services with confidence. So this is like an example of mine where I'm saying, hey, this is an easy one. One of the big, biggest mistakes I made is starting out as a consultant was I tried to basically know it all. Today I'm gonna to share with you why you don't need to know everything. And then there's a link with a photo of me and then my signature photo and a little PS of, hey, here's what to expect from me in the next coming week. And I actually add something at the bottom written by you know John Shea for you. Thanks for reading, click here to unsubscribe. No hard feelings, but you'll miss a lot of amazing information. So pretty straightforward. I'm not trying to coerce them with the title. It's exactly what it is I say it is. It's not like, is everything okay? Are you there? You know, like weird stuff. Um, I'll show you another one that I thought was really interesting. This guy, Paulo, he's been sending some emails that are extremely crazy. Like he sends these that literally say payments and they'll say, you earned a commission. Isn't that what you want to hear every day? It's possible. Click here to start earning. So very short and sweet, but very kind of deceiving, you know, like I don't really want emails that say, hey, payments, you know, and then now I've clicked on this link. Now I'm going to end up in some marketing funnel, the 15 minute system. And there's like, it's very blind. Like I have no idea what I'm getting into. Um, no value being offered here in terms of just coming right in. He's literally just getting me right into some kind of offer or something that he's selling. So um, definitely don't suggest doing this. I don't think it's a good move. I think when he started off with some of his emails, he was doing a little bit better approach. Uh, if I do like Paulo Barroso, he had a lot of emails where he was doing like, you know, hey, this is like a shortcut or this or that, you know, um, but some of these like, congrats, you're accepted. Or like, you know, he's got swear words in the, in the um, titles or turn some ludicrous amount of money into some other ludicrous amount of money, you know, like just very stuff that isn't really very attractive as someone that's trying to like really learn and feel like they're getting value. Um, so again, you know, wanted to throw this video together. thought this would be kind of cool to do a little bit of a teardown. I didn't want to make it too, too long, but you know, you do have some people that I'd say are doing it right and others doing it wrong. thought I'd give you guys some examples of uh, ways not to do this and ways that you should be doing it. So really the biggest things I'd say to take away from this video would be um, don't use coercion in your email titles. It's just stupid. Um, like stuff like you've got money. I mean, I don't know. Um, stuff that maybe has a little bit of curiosity. And ultimately, I know scarcity and having stuff like deadline, this ends in a few hours, this does work. But you have to be kind of cautious with how you eventually pitch someone on this. You know, like, um, I like stuff like this. If you do this, just stop it. That's... You know, it's enough to get me to open, but it doesn't sound so ridiculous that I'm not gonna, I'm gonna feel like, hey, this is like ridiculous, right? Like, I don't like that people include RE in their emails. Like, I haven't sent you an email. Why are you putting RE? It's just a weird way to get people to open. So don't do that stuff. Seriously, guys, if you are gonna um, write emails, you know, put some time in the, in the thoughts, into your photos, offering value, doing things that are gonna build a relationship. Really the easiest and best piece of advice I could give you would be is to talk to people like they're your friend. You know, you wouldn't send your friend an email that says, um, you know, <laughs> like what are some of these ridiculous ones? You're not gonna send your best friend an email that says you've got money. You know, you're not gonna do anything weird like that. Um, some of the cool stuff though is stuff that can get people's curiosity peaked. My 13 year old is making money from Google Maps. Like that's not really, it's something that sounds BS, but at the same time enough to get me curious. So. Anyway, that's what I have for you guys today. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. And if you want me to do any analysis of more emails, feel free to let me know. I'd be happy to pick on people or, you know, kind of go in and give my full transparent view of what I feel about different people's emails.